Hello, welcome to my fashion channel. It's great to have you here again. Today I want to show you how to cut a simple two-toned dress with pocket. It's a very popular one with me, with my customers, and I hope you're going to enjoy the video. So, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget you need to subscribe so I can keep making more videos. So for those of you that are subscribed, thank you very much. And for those that are here too, please don't forget you need to subscribe. So, what do we need for today's tutorial? We need about two, depending on your size, two meters of fabric, both the plain and the African print. print. I'm combining both. So you can work with it, whatever design works for you. But make sure that they blend really well so that it's appealing to the eyes. You can also use English fabric to make the same design. But as you know, I always love my prints. So what I've done on the table is I have two fabrics the same size. So what I did was get the length. The length I use is the full length of the Ankara fabric, which is normally 45 inches. So I cut this plain also to the same length, 45 inches for my fabric. So the width, I use 15 inches unfold which is when you open up is 60 so 15 inches for the plane and also 15 inches unfold for the Ankara fabric so once I got that no matter the size you could do this if it's really big like a size 20 maybe somebody with 55 58 inches then you may want to fold wider instead of 60 the width then 60 unfold um for one of the side is 15 the back also 15 so times four gives you 16 then you can make it maybe 70 because this dress shouldn't be um snug it should be free so once i fold it like this i'm going to open this up in the middle so we're going to get four pieces of 15 inches wide fabric okay so I've cut this as you can see I've cut it open so I have four pieces as you can see so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew right so now i just finished stitching as you can see so i have um one side with the african print the other side with the plain so when you're choosing your fabric make sure you choose a fabric that blends well you don't want to choose um fabric that doesn't contrast beautifully because this will also enhance the end product and when you're stitching, make sure you're using the right side to right side. And for you to know which is the right side, for plain fabric, sometimes it's tough. So the way I know mine is checking the selvage. Every fabric end or where you have um, the borders like this is called selvage. So for the front side, most times it's rough. Then the back is always smoother. Sometimes as well, you find the, the right side is brighter than the other side. So sometimes it's really tricky to get the right side. But pay attention and you'll find it. Because you don't want to be sewing and losing. So now I've done this. And I gave it a good press. So after doing this, you want to get your iron. And you want to make sure 
you give it a good press so that the joining is nice and flat so it's important it's imperative you do this so you can see that i've done that for mine before we start cutting so that the fabrics the fabric you join together is going to sit nicely all right so the next thing we want to do now is to fold we're going to use the wrong side okay so i'm going to get the two pieces that i did and you need to be careful the way you place because if you place in a particular way after sewing you're going to find out that the back side you have the ankara to this side and in front the ankara to the other side so it depends on how you want it so your placement will determine what happens at the end of the day so if you want the two plane on the same side back and front make sure you put them the plane to the plane okay or if you are confused then you can open it up like this if you don't want to get confused after sewing open it up this way okay then you're going to place the two plain sides on each other okay make sure they are on the same side then we're going to fold together to start cutting that way you don't go wrong all right just like that so now i'm going to fold together again so you make sure that the center piece the two center pieces are on the same point you can get a pin to achieve that so before i start um tracing i want to trim off the edges so that the salvage on the ankara print is off it's important you do that so now i've taken that out so now i'm going to get the top of my dress it's a cut together sleeve so i'm going to just use the old length i have there the width sorry so that will serve as the shoulder then for the arm o it's just going to be that way so i want it to be open i don't want it to be snug so i'm going to do about 12 inches from the top okay so from that point i'm going to check the waist i'm going to be doing 16 then from that point i'm going to measure 8 inches to get my hip so let me get my ruler let me rule this out so you can see clearly what i intend to do so we have like three lines and i'm going to explain the three lines what they stand for that's the hip that's the waist and that's where the ammo ends so that will be where we take our bust so now for the bust i'm using a uk size 16 so i'm going to do 42 bust because i don't want it snug okay then the waist is almost the same because it needs to be like a sheep dress free i don't want it clinging so i'm going to do 40. then for the eve instead of 45 which is uk 16 i'm going to do uh, 46 okay so that's where we're going to connect our um shaping of our dress so we're going to connect those dots to get the shape now for the length you need to determine how long you want it to be so you need to cut that before you start shaping so i want mine to be 40 inches long so i'm going to make 42 or 42 and a half my length because i like big, big folding so it's at this point i'm going to reduce what i have so i'm reducing that Okay, so I don't need that so this is the full length of the dress that I want to make so now let's connect this okay that way so you want to just it's almost like a straight dress really so the bottom is going to be the same as the hip so I did 46 so I'm going to do 46 at the bottom but if you want it a line you can add extra two inches to the bottom 
so that's my dress it's just going to be a straight dress so that's the shape and now i'm going to add one extra inch for my allowance so one inch all the way to the bottom so make sure you're consistent with your allowance because your seam allowance if it's too if you make it uneven it may affect you when you're sewing it will make it harder so i'm going to cut on the sewing allowance line okay so i just did that so when i'll be sewing interestingly i may not use one inch to sew i'm going to use half an inch because i want it to be freer okay but if you want it to be exact you know a bit shapely you can use your one inch allowance so now we're going to go back to the top of the dress now the front i want to make a v the back is going to be i so to make the front a v i'm going to use eight inches for my depth and for my width i'm going to do four inches so just get your ruler and i'm going to connect it So that's the neckline that's the v-neckline but you want to be careful because you don't want to cut the front and the back the same so for the back or still on the front i'm going to cut my back because the two pieces are together so i'm going to make my back one and a half inches deep okay so what i will do is cut the uh, the back measurement first then i'll take out the front piece and bring down the front piece so i just want to straighten the to make even the armhole if i do that okay so that's even then at the end of my dress at this point i'm going to take down one inch this is so that it's not standing okay so get the tape your sorry your ruler so that you can get the line you need to cut off so from the shoulder from the neckline all the way to the outer part so that's what i did there i just slanted that so this can be relaxed so this serves as my sleeve make sure it's even okay so if this is too short for you you can decide to add a fabric to the end of the um dress so that it's longer all right so now we've done that i'm going to get my scissors and i'm just going to cut off i'm lifting this it's not together i'm cutting off the front neckline all right so i didn't cut both together so that's what we've done so now we have two pieces that's the back piece okay that's the back piece okay and this is the front piece All right, so we have our plane on this side and this on the other side. So now I need to add pockets. Okay, we're almost done. So we need to add a pocket. So to add the pocket, I'm going to add this on this plane side. So your plane can be either side. And that's one thing I love about fashion these days. It's really subjective. There's no other fast rule as to where your pockets will be. So, I want to measure from the top where I'm going to place my pocket. So, my pocket is going to start from about 18 inches. So, you want to measure yourself and see where you want your pocket to be placed. If it's too high, it won't be nice. If it's too low, it may look awkward. So, start placing from a point where you're going to be comfortable with. So, I think for me, 18 or 18 and a half will be fine. Okay, to start placing my pocket. So, I just mark that on my dress so you can get your ruler and you roll that so that you don't miss it when you need to fix it so now we're going to put this aside and i'm going to get my piece for my pocket so this is the pieces i'm going to use my pocket so what i got here is 11 inches long and nine inches wide so what i'm going to do is get my iron 
and I'm going to fold the sides first half an inch on both sides so you just fold get your iron nice and hot and you iron half an inch on both opposite sides okay like that and on this side the same thing okay so once you've done that you want to also do the bottom this i'm going to use where you have the salvage i'm going to use as my top so i'm going to fold that a little bigger about 1.5 inches wide okay then the bottom i'm also going to make up an inch okay so get your iron all right so the pocket is ironed out so you can just flatten this on the surface so that it stays together all right so now what we're going to do is go back to our fabric okay our fabric we had cut and i'm going to place the pocket so i'm just going to get my pocket and i'm going to place not too far from the center like that okay you don't want to go too far and you don't want to go too close to the side so i'm going to get my pins and i'm going to pin before i start sewing so once you've pinned this the next thing we want to do is to work on our neckline so you can use facing or you can use um bias for the neckline so what i'm going to do is for the back i'm going to get bias binding and i'm going to use for the neck then for the front i'm going to cut my facing so i also need my belt so my fabric i'm going to cut i'm going to measure it depends on the length on the size of the person or the dress you're making so for the size 14 that i cut 16 inches for my belt is fine so i'm just going to cut along this you can make it as wide as you want so what i want to do is make mine about six inches wide so i'm just going to open this out i'm cutting this into two you can use the african print or you can use the plane but i'm going to use the plane for my belt so to make your belt is really easy so i've cut that 16 inches long six inches wide so by the time i i'm going to sew this okay i'm going to turn this i'm going to sew the sides the top the sides turn inside out and that's my belt so i want to cut the facing for the neckline so i'm just going to close my dress back the way it was when i was cutting and i'm going to get my piece of fabric and i'm going to fold into two you don't want to fold too much just what you need okay you don't want it too wide but it should go beyond the neckline so i'm going to place this make sure the folded side is to the folded side just like that and to make sure it doesn't move you can get a pin if you notice i'm folding the middle because there's a stitch in there so it has to be from where the stitching started you don't do from the tip completely it has to be stitch is where the stitch is that is the middle if you are confused then you can use the front side to start cutting so i'm just going to cut along the line of my neckline so now you notice too that the the bottom has to come down a little so what i did is it is as deep as three inches so you want to make it longer than the depth of your neckline it shouldn't be the same because if it's the same then the whole idea of the facing wouldn't work so i just did that and so that's my facing so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add feasible interfacing 
to this as you can see so that's the facing so it just helps you cut get the neckline it's always advised you use a facing for your v-neck as opposed to bias trimming it's better it works um perfectly when you do that so after adding the feasible interfacing all i will need to do is stitch along the neckline just like that yeah so that's my dress and it's almost ready as you can see so i closed the sides i did the bias trimming facing for the front i closed the shoulder then the sleeves so now i want to add you can decide to just fold your sleeves you know like that but i want mine to be a bit longer so i'm going to get this fabric i cut this it's folded in two so it's about two inches and two and a half inches long when folded on so i'm going to get my scissors cut this and i'm just going to attach this to the sleeve okay and it makes it longer so you can decide to just use your upper locker you end the sleeve then you just fold and stitch and you still have your dress looking nicely so that's you can do at the bottom as well you get your overlocker machine you want to m that then you can use your aiming gum to give a clean finishing and you just fold in so that's the video on how to make a tutum dress if you liked my video please don't forget give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time bye